in, in the second half, um, when they started mounting a comeback, he took a deep shot to Dylan Mitchell. They got tipped and picked. And it seemed like after that, maybe the play calling got a little conservative. Is that accurate or not? Were you trying to protect the lead at that point? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it got conservative. We, we, they kept running the same defense they were running before, and we was running the same plays that we were running in the first half. We just didn't execute as well. I thought um, we didn't necessarily play with a sense of urgency like we did in the, in the first half, and uh, we didn't actually go tempo like we did in the first half, and I thought that got us more than anything. Right here, gas in the middle. How much could you feel uh, Nebraska's uh, fans and energy kind of coming alive in the, in the second half when uh, when they were kind of going on that run? Well, you, you expect that to happen when they make some of the plays that they did and, and convert it on fourth down there. You expect when um, Uncle Mo get on your side, that's what kind of happened is everybody on their team get excited and um, and that's football. You know, and one thing we tried to do is, is try to regain the momentum, you know, and it was tough there because we didn't do anything offensively. But – it was great to see our defense step up and make plays when the offense was struggling. Coach, this is the first time your team has played in a really close game at the end. What did you learn about them today? Well, um, our guys didn't fold um, when adversity came, and that's something I was concerned with coming in. And when people ask me one thing you're concerned with your football team, is it was how, how they'll deal with adversity. And I thought our guys did a great job uh, – handling that adversity you know I thought that was a great team victory you know when defense wasn't playing well offense was playing well and when offense didn't play well defense stepped up and played well and um, that's what you call a team and, and that was great great to see but I if I learned anything is that our guys know how to deal with adversity and um, to have a young team go out there and find a way to win the ball games uh, was great you know they made the plays that needed to be made and, and that's what you asked for from them Willie, back here. Uh, I know second half probably not what you wanted to see out of your team, but what do you think it says about this defense that they were able to get that that stop to the end of the game? Oh, uh, again, we feel like we got a pretty good defense, you know, and and uh, we just got to show it. You know, we understand that every um, everyone think about us um, about the past, and it's on us to go out and define who we are and about the way we play, and not let someone else define us, you know. And that was great to see our guys, like I say, make the plays that need needed to be made. You know, we stressed about takeaways. And our guys did a great job with that in the game. And nowadays in football, got people going to get yardage on you. You know, I think what's important is getting the ball away from them. And, and our guys did that. And if you look at it over the last five or six ball games, uh, Nebraska was really good with taking care of the football. You know, so um, we told our guys one of the keys to this game was, was for us not to give the ball away but, uh, and for our defense to take it away because Nebraska wasn't going to give it to us. And, and our guys did that. Willie, when you were building this game plan this week, did you think you were going to throw the ball this often, or was that kind of a, just an indicator of where the game was going? And then how do you feel like your group handled the, the passing attack? Uh, I thought they handled it pretty good. Um, Justin was 33 of 25, 25 of 33, 365 yards, three TDs. I'll take that anytime. I thought that guy did a great job. Um, I thought our old line did a great job protecting them. Um, and our guys just took what they were giving us, you know, and, and, and that was great to see. And we knew they were going to try to stop the run. And uh, it was great to see that our guys can not only run the ball, but we can throw it as well. Since we can't talk to him, can you can you describe what Thomas Graham's like after this game to two obviously huge plays for him? Yeah, I knew he was going to ask about it. So I talked to uh, Thomas before I came in here and I asked Thomas to tell me what he want me to tell you guys. And he said he's so excited. That's that's why he came to Oregon to help this football program and um, to help turn this program around. And he said, make sure you tell him, Coach, that I appreciate you for coming down and recruiting me to be here. Um, I'm serious. He did say this. Um, um, but he, and that's the kid, man. He is he is he's a student of the game. The kid watched tons of film. Um, he's so competitive. And we've seen this as, as a staff. We've seen this back in the spring and, and it continued in, in the fall. And, um, I mean, he's a big-time player, you know, and for him to be young as he is and know as much football that he does, um, it's, it's great to have and it's great to know we're going to have him for a while around here.